Portfolio Created was founded in 2005, and it was built on the idea of creating a better way for creative people to find work in the Columbus area. So with our art degrees, and I should mention that Kristen Harris is my business partner, and we decided to start this business with just our knowledge of advertising and marketing and not any staffing, we decided to create a staffing company, which makes perfect sense. When you're a freelancer, um, you love doing the work. You don't love always getting that next job. And sometimes you'd be really passionate about a project, you'd get it done, and then you would have nothing. Um, so what would, we thought would be really great is if you could just keep you know, finding work all the time, but how would you do that? And that's with somebody who could help you find those connections. And then also having been a client, I really understand how it would be if there would be like a, a huge deadline and you had to finally just stop everything and try and find someone to help you. So just feeling the pain of both the client and the freelancer, it really seemed to make sense to put the two together and be the person that connected both parts of that equation. It's very daunting. Um, to just f suddenly say that I am a business owner when you've never been a business owner before or sometimes some of the big decisions come to your desk and they stop there and it's really okay. It gets Things get figured out, problems get solved and actually it's groups like NABA that sometimes can help out in that sort of thing. I know when we started our business we had a lot of issues that would come up and they felt very heavy, very bone crushing. Um, but when you would take them to a member of NAVO, they would, had already experienced it at one time or another and they were able to give you great advice um, or could find some answer for you. But most of all, it was just really great to be around women that understood where you were coming from. It really makes you a believer that you can do it. You go to a luncheon, for example, or you meet with the group in some way, and it's like, you know what, if these ladies can do it, so can I. So it's very empowering. It may sound simple as far as what my inspiration is, but right now it's my daughter and she's the one that really drives me to make everything a little bit better for the world that she's in. Um, I think we're really on a, a turn of events when it comes to women empowerment right now. Women have fought years for the position that we're in right now and it's really gaining momentum and traction and I'm hearing the words coming out of children her age that are much more the sound of equality than we've ever heard before. Once I became a business owner, I saw that um, Finding people work was a huge give back to the community and that started to become really infectious for me personally. And I wanted to reach out more and more to um, people that might have you know, some sort of need, it being either with talent or treasure or time. And I felt that all that was fair to give in the position that I have developed for myself. Um, within our company, we have three different in initiatives. One is the Green Committee, and that is to help the environment. We also have our health and um, wellness group, and that's to help the people not only within our walls, but to the town that we place that might have questions as far as how they can better their health. And we also have the Philanthropy Committee. For example, we've done a um, art supply drive for Nationwide Children's Hospital. So we asked the community and the people that work for us to donate our supplies. We put it in a big wagon and took it over to Nationwide Children's. They were very appreciative. You know, just giving my time, giving money when necessary. Um, but we've done all things like that. They usually are involved like in the creative community or they involve women empowerment because for us, we've chosen that as our mission and we just give because we feel very good doing that. When I was nominated for visionary, I was a little taken aback because I never thought of myself as a visionary. So before I even filled out the form, I decided to Google visionary <laughs> just to make sure I fit the criteria. And I was um, surprised, it was actually a very simple definition and it was just somebody who sees the future in a better way. I work for things to be better, both in the business, that's how it started, but then it has now expanded into the community. It is a huge honor and I definitely don't take that lightly. Thank you.